This is Leonardo from LeonardosLens.com and today we're going to be updating the firmware on our Einstein strobe units from Paul C. Buff. Now there are some very important and specific instructions you'll need to follow and there are some hardware requirements too. So I would suggest you go ahead and watch this video all the way through till the end before deciding on updating your own. Uh, especially if you have multiple units then you'll want to pay special attention to the section where I talk about moving from one unit to the next. All right, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. So before we proceed, uh, I just want to sit here and listen for a second. And what I'm listening for is the fan noise on these units. Uh, one of the benefits that we should get from the firmware upgrade is that the fans should only kick in at such a high speed when these things actually heat up. Right now you turn them on and they are going full blast and as you can hear, they're a little bit noisy. So uh, we'll see how they sound after the firmware upgrade. All right, so I'm gonna power one of these units down. And now let's bring it back up and let's see what version we're on right now. Software version 0173, version 29. And uh, I did look at the other two units and they are at the exact same uh, version level. So we'll be able to see what it looks like after we're done. Now earlier I mentioned that you were going to have some very specific instructions that you needed to follow. And part of that is this hardware requirement. Notice I've got a 2 gigabyte micro SD card and an adapter so we can go ahead and put that in our computer. Now it has to be 2 gigabytes or smaller. Anything larger won't work. And it has to be plain old micro SD. No SDHC or any of the newer technologies, class 10, whatever. And as long as you stick with that, you should be good. Now, if you also own a Cyber Commander to control your Einsteins, you may have uh, a micro SD card perfect for the job. But all I did was bought this off of Amazon uh, for about nine bucks, I believe. Uh, overnight shipping is great. Now if you've seen any of my other videos, you recognize the Lexar USB 3 card reader uh, dual slot. And um, if you haven't seen the video and you want to see a speed test compared to just regular USB card reader, um, it's worth a watch. So, once we stick our micro SD card with the adapter in here the light is on and we are ready to go so we've got our zip file that we've downloaded from the website and we're just going to open it up take that entire folder you see there and we're going to drag it into our SD card. Now you want to make sure that folder is right there in the root or the top level of that card and nothing else is on the card. And uh, of course we can look inside and see that there are multiple subfolders but we don't really care about that. Just as long as your PC buff folder is right there then you're good to go. Now the most important thing if you're upgrading multiple units, after each one, you want to bring that SD card back to your computer and copy that PC buff folder onto it uh, each time for every unit. Apparently, some people have damaged their strobe unit by not following that step. Okay, here we are back at one of the units we're about to update. And I just wanted to show you the top 
where uh, we've got our radio receiver for the CyberSync. That's what controls everything uh, wirelessly. We've got the little uh, photoreceptive dome here, and that's what uh, allows this unit to be controlled by another flash going off. If you have this turned on, then uh, if another flash goes off in the room, this flash will respond. Um, and last but not least in this case, we've got our micro SD card slot. So, you want to stick this down, make sure that it's straight and aligned with the slot because it's unfortunately it's easy to uh, get that along the side of the slot and it'll fall down into the housing so uh, what you can do is push that down as straight as you can and when you feel it spring you know you're in the right spot because SD card slots are usually spring loaded so go ahead and push it the rest of the way in. Now, um, what we're going to do is uh, plug this back in. I have it unplugged right now. So we'll plug it back in. And as soon as the power is applied, then the update process should start on its own. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so I'm plugging it back in. And it's flashing just as I expected it to be. And when it stops flashing, you should be good. I'm told this process can take about 45 seconds, so we're just going to wait and let nature take its course. Okay, the blinking has stopped. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. Great, and we can see that the software version is now at 50. So, uh, that was a success. And you can see it is now silent, just that regular operating temperature. So we know by that also that it was a success. Now, here's the important thing. If you have more than one unit, don't just take your card out and stick it into the next and repeat the process. You have to go back to your computer, reinsert the SD card, and recopy over the PC buff folder from the zip file we downloaded back onto this uh, SD card. And then you can do the next one and then repeat that entire process for as many units as you have. Do not just take the SD card out and uh, stick it into the next one or uh, either it won't work or I've even seen some reports that you might prick your unit. But other than that, as long as you follow all those directions precisely, you'll have your uh, Einstein 640WS flash unit by Paul C. Buff updated to its latest firmware. Thanks for watching and look out for more videos.